kevra a zevre istadis. Lem vra munde ishtivre istadista. Lu vroste istadis. When I look in the realm of the spirit, I see list has that you are in two tests. Two. And with the third about to happen. That's the three I mean, simultaneous. But the first two, you are number one in a promotion test in which what God has given you and the influence God has given you and the access God has given you, if it's managed well, would lead to a significant promotion. Yeah. I mean a massive provision, a massive, massive promotion. I'm seeing in the game of the spirit. And then not only that, but to echo what I'm saying, the angel of the Lord is showing me a vision and showing me a phone call. A phone call, a conversation I see you having, that in fact you've had, that indicates opportunities and possibilities in a particular field. Do, do, do you know what I'm talking about? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yes, yes. So I'm seeing, I'm not talking about it because of the sensitive okay, nature of it, but I know what it is. Right. So I, I see the phone call. And I see, I see, if I see two phone calls, I see two phone calls, right? And I see that. And so there are going to be significant opportunities about that because what I want you to understand is this. On you, and you need to read my new book, on you, you have both business and politics. Do you understand that? You know you have politics in here. Yes, I do. I know. You have politics. So today God told me to anoint you for politics. Hey. Wow. <laughs> because I'm seeing you pass the test, the first major political position that you'll be given will be given to you soon. Wow. Because you're ordained for this. Lavra Habaha says this. There's a political destiny on you. Mambra Azizas. Lahadas. Now, so I want you to, to all my political books, you go read them. Okay? And, and when you read them, you'll be above average. You actually become a political star. Because your knowledge of politics, your understanding of politics, because you have the gift, you have the influence. Now God is going to use you so you understand politics. Live Rahaba Rabaza. In fact, for this one, kneel down. Jesus is. Lift your hands up. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of God. That's right. The angels of the Lord bring a political coat and mantle and put it on you now. In the name of Jesus. Lavrosus, Davrosis, Nam Dabozos, Levrahas, Mambrohus, Ligraas, Levrahus, Manderis, Livrahas. Political favor and political acceleration comes upon you now in the mighty name of Jesus, and you shall be sped up. And folks can say, no, this is not fair. Well, guess what? Favor is not fair. Because favor breaks protocol. Favor breaks pro progression. It breaks sequence. And you're going to be elevated to the top. Man, that is. But what you have to do, you have to prepare yourself for it. And that's where you need to, in the name of Jesus, take that on in Jesus' name. Father, God, God. In the realm of the Spirit, as I'm standing before you, I'm seeing there's a lot in your life that needs to go. You heard me? Us? Us? In fact, the lot, if I take your phone right now, I can see a text from the lot. Uh, is this so? Yes. Huh? Yes. That's it. Because and because your, your 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 phone has appeared to me, and I'm seeing the text from Lot, hmm. and so I'm confirming that if Lot goes, if Lot goes, what God has will appear. Oh, 
else Shavaris Lavas there's a lot more I could say but that's all I need to say are you with me? are you with me? yes um, this morning when I was there I was praying and I asked the Lord for you to look at me this morning wow Amen. wow 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 hey nah. there are certain things that God has for you I'm seeing two angels with parcels for you but they cannot come until Lord goes. Lot is a breakthrough, he's a breakthrough delayer. I'm telling you, Lot is a breakthrough delayer. I know I've had Lot, and Lot made me suffer a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I <would mean. laughs> oh bless the lord amen but god is giving a second chance in the name of jesus so let's take that anointing <laughs> angel book yes right that's right that's the song omega 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 we go do what god told us to do cancel lot today and see even this week you start seeing the hand of God moving your life in a mighty way and the angels of the Lord the angels of the Lord right now are touching you right now yes I am seeing yes ever since I left to go prophesy to Tara I've seen the fire the angel of fire touching you and burning and purifying you in the name of Jesus and I hear the Lord say tell her again Lot must go and when Lot goes she'll be blessed a lot you are having a very tricky test so this it's a very tricky test because in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing a writing angel of the Lord is showing me a board it's a white board and on the whiteboard, there are writings on the whiteboard. And there are writings of what has happened in certain aspects of your life. And the Holy Spirit says, this is what I want to do. Wow, this is amazing. I've never seen this before in my life. The angel of the Lord is showing me an angel standing with a pen. And the angel is standing with a pen, and I'm seeing this whiteboard. And this whiteboard has all the things that have occurred in your life, in a particular aspect of your life, which you and I know about. Okay, so in your life, and the angel says, I want to rewrite her story. But if she does not wipe out what is on the board, I'll have to write on what is already written. In order for what I'm doing now to work, she has to wipe the board clean. Hear with me? That's a fresh start. That's a mercy start. You understand that? Yes, me. So go in the fresh start. Yeah. A fresh what? A fresh start. So if you go with a fresh start, so what you do, you're wiping the board clean. So when you wipe the board clean, then, get, then what happens? God can now do what? Write a new story for you. Because what I'm seeing is a brand new story. It's a brand new story. Brand new story for you. Amen. Love Rahas to this. Right now, just lift your hands. Zehas. Lahas. Shish. That's, that's right. Grace has been given to you to do that. Grace has been given. Grace. Grace has been given to you right now. 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 Grace. 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 The angel of the Lord is showing me. And he's showing me a anxiety that should not be there. Jesus. Because I'm seeing 
anxiety and I'm seeing that you're not resting and I'm seeing that you're sleeping but you're waking up tired I'm seeing that you're restless I'm seeing that you're tossing I'm seeing this occurring in your life is this so yeah. yes because I'm seeing because I'm seeing you and as I'm seeing this the word of the Lord is coming to me tell her that I am enough to step in and make the changes that need to be made tell her that I'm enough tell her that I'm enough and tell her what she needs to do is watch with me and pray because what I'm seeing you are not praying enough is that so yeah. absolutely you are more sleeping restless under this but if you pray God will intervene God will intervene so right now you're in a warfare test that you need to pray so what you're sensing in the spirit is what's in the cloud but you can intervene and stop it with your prayers 99% of this thing can be avoided 99% but your other people's prayer cannot do this your voice needs to be heard you with me and right now the spirit of the Lord comes upon you for prayer the spirit of the Lord comes upon you grace comes upon you now 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 never Jesus Jamila here is confirming come closer for the lock test there's a man that actually asked her to marry him Wow she said you have to come to me with my spiritual father first and he refused he wanted to come to church this morning but when she asked him if he was coming, he said, I don't have to come to church to prove my love to you. So she's thankful that you intervened this morning. Did I say that I saw the no WhatsApp? Katakovosis. Hey, Labrastorizis. Lena Mandazis. Now let me explain. Prophets, we edit what God shows us. So, you see, a lot of what I speak, I've edited it. I have seen it. If I, if I will show you what I see, oh, you'll you be scared. So, 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 so I edit it. I, it's significantly edited. But I see it so I can know the situation, and then I'm taught how to edit it. That is why in the growth of a prophet, God tests you to see how you manage information and where how you manage information about other people. If you don't pass those tests, you can never have a lot of revelations about people because you mismanage the information. With yourself, there's a very similar test to her. Two tests. Lahas. You also have a lot test. There's a lot test that you have. You are you with me? But you're playing with fire. Are you with me? I'm, I'm serious. You're playing with fire. You're playing with fire. Because when I'm your play with fire, is that this individual has a dark side about them that can be very violent that you don't fully know. And they have an ability to flip. Hey, do you know what I'm talking about? Huh? Not a hundred percent. Yes. I have an idea. Yes. Well, let me share with you. You, let me explain. There is a, well, well let me deal with the two, two first. Okay, the first thing is, there's a warfare test that you have to pass in terms of your prayer life because what's happening is you are not praying you're not praying and i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing i'm the the angel of the lord is showing me i'm seeing you lying on the bed lying on your bed 
and lying on the bed, facing up, looking at the ceiling. You like looking at the ceiling a lot. Am I, am I saying, huh? Yes. That's right. And, and yes. And I'm seeing what you're wearing to sleep. It comes just down to about here. I'm seeing her lying there, lying there. She's lying there like this. And you don't have any, in fact, there's no blanket on you. You're just lying like this and look at the ceiling. I, I, I just told her to tell her that I can see her. I can even describe the outfit, but I wouldn't. So I, I'm, just, I'm, just to let to, I'm just telling her to tell her that I, that, that I saw it. Okay? So yes, I'm seeing her. She's looking at the ceiling. And what happened is that, and you're looking at the ceiling, but even when you look at the ceiling, that there's sometimes there are things you perceive in your spirit. But the Lord is trying to call you to pray. But you succumb to the weakness of the flesh. And here's the thing. And the reason why God will show you is because even in your lack, you have been generous in supporting kingdom things. And so as a result of that, God is obligated to move on your behalf. But here's the thing. To move on your behalf, he needs your prayer. He needs your words. Your words have to co-sign what God is doing. You see, it's like God has this thing for you. God signs it, but you sign it with prayer. Prayer is earthly license for heaven intervention. So God needs you to pray for him to do what he needs you to do. So the prayer anointing needs to come on you. Lift up your hands. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Out of your belly. A river of intercession flows. 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 A river of intercession. A river of intercession. A river of intercession. In the name of Jesus. Had Haza. Mambro Bodhis. And I will talk to you privately about the other matter. Jesus. Power of God touches you. Jesus. You are at the edge of a big turnaround. Big one. Massive. In order to walk in this, you're going to have to allow the Spirit to pull some things from you. Because what you require, you require a particular kind of blessing on you. Listen. A particular kind of what? Blessing on you. So you say, what exactly do you mean? Key things. You are going to have to pass two tests. The insecurity test. And then you are going to have to pass a second test. Which is, God is going to give you something greater than you've had before to manage. Because you have a solution. Hada, I'm speaking in code. You understand my code? Yes, sir. Good, good. So, so you understand my code. So this is the second. So these are two things that God has given you. Okay? Right? And it is, it is right that with the second thing, that it not be manifested yet. Keep that the way it is. Okay? Until it's fully mature. Amen. You understand me? Good. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, what are we talking about? None of your business. <laughs> you these people, man. None of your business. Have a Jesus. Lake has a Jesus. We are speaking in prophetic code. They very visit. Praise the Lord. Okay. But the first one is you being secure on who you are and passing insecurity things are major for you right now really really major because what happens is you, there there are things that you do and say and behave because insecurity kicks in you understand that mm -hmm. and so god wants you to be delivered from that okay amen and know this lavra this is I know what's in your spirit, God does this. And now the hand of God comes upon you. 
the hand of God comes upon you right now in the name of Jesus Akadoza Gida Vroman Zidis Lavrus Tawish Lavrus Peace I see an angel of catapult to catapult you an angel of catapult a catapult angel a catapult angel a catapult angel Larissa Mandorose Lee Grahuzu be catapulted be catapulted hand as us thus said the Lord if you pass this test you shall be catapulted Manderes Levas Lena Zebres Gire Zebre Lebre Manderes Zebre Berevish Jesus Wow Wow Jesus how are you? I'm feeling so many things right now. Yes, I know. In the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a tug of war. And the angel of the Lord said, she's in the middle of a tug of war. Does, does that make sense to you? Yes. Huh? Yes. You're in a, because I'm seeing a tug of war. And I'm seeing you in the middle of the tug of war. Been talked here, been talked here. Are you with me? Yes. And sometimes both sides are wrong. <laughs> Do you get what I just said? Yes. And in this case, both sides are wrong. <laughs> you understand? Yes. There's their side, that side, and then there's the right side. So what I'm hearing in my spirit is that what you need to do, the only way to break this is that you have to pass the integrity test. You have to stand up for what you believe is right and say what is right and do what is right. It speaks to you? Yes, 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 absolutely, absolutely. And that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. And right now, grace is going to be given to you to do that. Grace. The Lord said, stand up for your integrity. Speak for your integrity. Stand up on your integrity. Speak for your integrity. Speak for your integrity. Agrazova. Levramandas. Abahoja. And now, the anointing of the Spirit comes upon you. In the name of Jesus. Now, Jesus. The moment I saw you when you came in, the Lord told me I need to prophesy to you. Cadiz. So I am standing here and I'm seeing Brosta Vishta, the angel of the Lord is showing me, and <laughs> angel of the Lord is showing me a telescope. And I'm looking at the telescope, and when I look at the telescope, he says, Look deep down into where she came from. And as I looked deep down from where you came from, I saw Lavra Isa. I, I see a life. And when I look, as I look, I'm seeing your body removed. And I'm seeing your soul. And I'm seeing your soul full of cuts and scars. Cuts and what scars? Cuts and scars. Cuts and scars. Cut this. Lever is. And I'm seeing incident after incident and situation after situation causing the scars and the cuts in your soul until the soul inside has become very fragile <laughs> but the angel of the Lord is telling me I sent her here today because this is the place for her breakthrough <laughs> I sent her and now the angel of the Lord is bringing and extracting from you the pain the pain the hurt the wounds and bring 
Bringing it up. Bringing it up. Bringing it up. Right now. My anointing. Hold on. In Jesus' name. Take it out. The power of the Holy Ghost touches you. Jesus. Oh, bless it. Lava. Jesus. That's right. You can live with this group under that anointing. Jesus, the glory of God, the glory of God is touching you. The glory of God is touching you. And I hear the Holy Ghost say, It shall be like a skin of pain has been removed for you. For thus said the Lord, I am removing the pain because I'm telling you, the former things are past. And behold, new things I do. New things I do. New things I do. New things I do. And now, the power of the Holy Ghost, Jesus. The Lord is telling me to tell you, He said, I must tell you that He, the Lord, is not holding anything against you that you did in a particular situation. He said, His blood has been shed. And now all he wants to talk to you about is your new beginning. Amen. That's all he wants to talk about. Your new beginning. He doesn't want to talk about the past. He wants to talk about what he's going to do with you now. And what he's going to do through you now. And what he's going to do for you now. Because he's a God of second chances. Jesus. Yes. Yes, I'm going to pray for you now. Two areas I want you to hear. Now, let me help some men. Do you know you have three brains? Everybody has three brains. Do you know that? You have your brain here, which is the big brain. You have the brain in your heart. The brain in your heart understands relational things more. And then you have the brain in your digestive tract. That's why you can hear information and vomit. You see that? It's why you can hear something and want to throw up. And then that's why you can hear something and your heart hurts. Now, women are actually more tuned. They're very tuned to the brain in their heart. So what you got to do, I'm going to pray for you. You got to pay attention to your woman when it comes to your relationships and partners and customers. She can pick up stuff that you don't pick up. It's just like a dog can pick up a signal that you don't know. Are you with me? Correct. And, and I can tell you this. I mean, all men go through this. Even my spiritual dad goes through this. When you start, you think, What's this, what is this lady talking about? <laughs> Jesus. So, no, so when dad actually said that sometimes mom will say some things and he's thinking, what are you talking about, woman? But that's because... She and then he understood she's thinking from the brain in the heart. Well, she's the brain here. So you need to be so you need to pick up the intelligence because she's giving you intelligence. So so you understand that what she's giving you is intelligence gathering, that her intuition is picking up. Listen to the data. Then you take the data and then decide how you're going to operate with the data, with what you know and the data that she's given you. But she's giving you essential data that you need to pay attention to. That's what I'm saying. And the hand of God is going to come and touch you in a mighty way. In the name of Jesus. You're going to be called into an office and given a bigger contract. Jesus, cut the house. Mandelevices, leverages. There's also, there's also, there's also, there's also one loser that you need to disassociate yourself from. Huh? Trying to figure out that for a long time. Yeah. I already have like three person there, but trying to figure which one exactly. Yes. Okay. So let me explain what you. This is the one that does not celebrate when you're getting blessed. It answers the question? Yeah. Yes, I saw that. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Anybody who doesn't celebrate you when you're getting blessed is a candidate to betray you in the future. You understand that? So your answer is, is, is done. Amen? Amen? Bless the Lord. Amen? So you go, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I see you be called into an office. And I see significant work. I see some subcontracted work come to you. But I see a significant work also come to you. But pay attention to what your wife is saying and pay attention to what's coming up in your spirit and be courageous and act on it and get rid of that one because he will undermine you. I don't think I need another person to tell me that because actually my wife told me that a good while ago, but I always keep defending that particular person. That's so, it. Amen. Got it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. I remember. I remember. I remember this. Lahas. Angels of the Lord are going to touch you and deliver you right now. Zaris. Right now. Come, come. Okay, let's stand where you are. Okay, right now. Zavris to Vista. I am in your home. And when I go in your home, I'm seeing in your home an image on your home. And I'm seeing an image of your home, and I'm seeing a witchcraft bird. Safras. Lahadis. So in the name of Jesus, what has been sent by witchcraft into your home, I stop now, Amen. and I destroy in the name of Jesus, Amen. right now, and what has come on you for that witchcraft lives your life now, in the name of Jesus, 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 out, 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 Jesus. In, as you come, as you spoke to me, I saw the image of a tortoise. And the, Lord, and the word of the Lord came to me. Everything in your life that has been moving with the speed of a tortoise. Come on. Jesus. That God has for you. In the name of Jesus. Buy this blessing on your anniversary. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the speed of God comes on you in the name of Jesus. And the order of the tortoise is broken in the name of Jesus. And speed comes, 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 speed comes. Speed comes! Speed! 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 Speed!